So to remove the old pelvic drop rudder, what you're going to need to do is take a 7 seconds inch Allen wrench or hex key or um, whatever works. And you'll want to counterclockwise so it's all the way out. And then the same thing on the other side. The non-drop side is going to have the longer screw. And then the side with this plate is going to have the shorter screw. So both screws are out. You should just be able to drop this out. So this is a disassembled uh, pelvic drop rudder. The handle with the thicker bar is going to go on the side with the uh, tension knob. And the handle with the thinner bar right here is going to go opposite of that. So off the table, it'll look something like this. Handles. Um, and when you're putting the handles on, it's a good idea to put a little bit of, uh, this is just lithium grease. So really any like Teflon or lithium based grease would work. Just want to coat the entire surface and get some of it inside there where the set screw spins around. So this is uh, part of the drop mechanism. Inside this black tube here, we have a screw at the end of it or a bolt, a spring that goes around the screw. And then as you can see sticking out right here, there's a half inch ball bearing. So what this does, this assembly does basically is, as the tension knob screws in, it'll push that ball bearing See that it'll push that ball bearing tighter and tighter into this hole which is what actuates the actual drop mechanism so we'll go ahead and put this back in we want to start on the other side the non-tension knob side you want to make get that that hole there that's in the side of the rudder right in there and you're going to use the holes on either side they're going to line up with the cylinders on the handle so right there that side in. so here we'll line up with where the screw is going to go in there's right. another tab on the other side that does the same thing so starting on the non-tension knob side You'll want to screw this in, this set screw in with the nut, until you can see the gap in between the ball bearing and the plate here. It's very small, but you want to still be able to see through there. Yeah, you still want there to be just the slightest gap, somewhere between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch is fine. Now we're going to do this side. And you're going to screw the tension knob side in until you start to feel some resistance. Yeah, you'll want to make sure that it's lined up before that set screw goes in. Yeah. So you'll start to feel resistance and what you're feeling there is that set screw is hitting the bottom of that slot that it goes into right there. So, once you have those in, the set screws are, are tight, but the nuts are not tight yet. You want to check your drop mechanism just to make sure it feels right. It should feel just like your old one. So there's a little bit of resistance, and then once it does give, there's the pop there. And the pop is made harder and softer by the tension of the knob. So if we were to tighten this in, this action would become a lot more aggressive like that because there's much more resistance keeping the rudder from going on but with the tension knob out there should just be a light amount of resistance because you want to make sure that even for your 
lightest patients that you're still able to get a good drop out of it. So, just like that's fine. And you can play with the tension knob and the, if you were to screw this set screw in further, it would push the plate away from the tension knob, which might make getting a nice pop harder, but would also add more tension to the assembly. So you can kind of play around with the tension there if you need to, but with the plate just a, about an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch away from the tube with, tube with the ball bearing and spring, that should give you the right amount of tension and pop that you need. Also note, you don't want to put these set screws in so far that the nut is sticking out further than the set screw and on both sides. You don't want that set screw to be so, to be so far in because it is hollow. So once you feel like you've got your tension right, you want to take an 11 16 socket wrench and tighten it up. It shouldn't take too much pressure. Just to make sure it's not going to loosen itself. And then Alright, there we have it. That's put taken off and put back on.